Kikigaku Mayo. Mayo is a Japanese band who I caught on to in 2014 after their Forest of the Lost uh, Children album. I thought it was really, really good. One of those albums that just deserved a bit more attention. And if they'd gotten that little bit of hype, that little bit of momentum, it certainly would have been an album that resonated with a lot more people, I think. So do go check it out if you never have, because um, it's a really nice album. Asana Temples is another album that's following a very similar kraut rock psych rock experience which i can totally get down with once again um it's not something i'm gonna say i'm like completely in love with but i do think this is a very very good album i think the one thing that it's lacking that forest of lost children had was the intoxicating like just complete woof of a of a feeling that it gave you while listening to it because it really sucked you in into the music all the guitar tones were beautiful and wonderful there are some really nice ones here however there are a few switch ups on a, on these tracks occasionally that give me a bit more excitement than i was expecting the track gatherings for example is this like really nice washed out just straightforward guitar melody that's playing all the way through and then like Halfway through or just after the halfway point, because it's like a six, seven minute track, um, it completely switches up and you get this more electric feel to it and the drums come like rattling in and I don't know man, I just thought this could have been the entire song, like I would have loved to have seen them just go full throttle like this as opposed to making it a, a little bit more of a laid back album. And those little spells like crop up every now and then, like you've got this really nice slow paced, like beachy vibe to the song and then it just switches up into a bit more of a heavier, you know, I guess, um, rockier moment that I just wanted to hear more of because when it was there, it was really, really good. So I only ever end up thinking what this album could have been as opposed to what this album ended up being. But the results, anyway, are still really nice. I mean, you're getting the same beautiful melodies throughout, these vocals that are very whispery, but they just add perfectly to the mix of the music. I just think it's a really refreshing sound, to be honest. In a sea of psych rock bands that play it quite heavy, that, you know, have a lot of riffage going on, the OCs, King Gizzard and Lizard Wizard, uh, the, the list goes on to be honest. Ty Seagal, I just love this approach, this more kraut rock, patience testing approach that Kikigaku Mayo take on. This is an album that works for the background, this is an album that works when you're honing in all your attention, because it's just so gorgeous to listen to, honestly. I really, really think this band is incredibly talented and I would love to see more people check them out because they certainly they certainly deserve your time. It's incredibly pristine, it's incredibly well crafted. Yeah, I mean, this is an album that I genuinely think is very good. I'm gonna go 7.5 out of 10. Just slightly less engaging for me than Forest of Lost Children. It's a little bit longer than that too, that was more of like a mini album to be honest, but still, a great follow-up to it, really. Um, I can't really argue with uh, the music on here. Let me know your thoughts on this album. Have a good day. Please do check it out. Check out the Bandcamp. I'll link that in the description and all that. Goodbye. Have a good time.